Hey everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm. It's kind of a rainy, nasty day here in my part of southern Missouri. But I've got some good news. Number one, my back is actually starting to feel better after a couple weeks of, well, I guess, taking it somewhat easy. The next thing is the channel hit a thousand subscribers. And I want to personally thank each and every one of you for that. Obviously, it would not be possible without you. So once again, thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching these videos and your comments, your likes, your shares, all of those things. I am far more appreciative than I feel like I can express. So thank you. Now to the task at hand. We got to feed Darla. Here you go, girl. So I'm probably not going to let Darla out to run around today um, simply because it is pretty nasty. The weather's kind of kind of nasty out there and I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on her as well as I would like to. So she's going to have to stay in here for just a little bit. That's it. That's all we got. So one thing I do want to mention is that she has been eating her feed. Kind of feeling bad. She's acting like she wants to be let out and run around, which that is our routine. I imagine that's not going to yield a whole lot of milk there, sis. All right, I got stuff to do. Have to feed the pigs. All this rain has turned the pen here where I have these two guys into a mud pit. taken me a little bit longer to get them sold than I would have liked. Nasty. The good news is all this rain has been great for our pig pasture. It appears to be growing fairly well. And I get down here and look. I have pigs out. That's exciting. They should follow the bucket back. It get, apparently the fence is not working like it should. I'm just gonna dump some on the ground. Oh no. Not sure if you can see out here or not, but feeders are in the water. That's exciting. And float them back over here to the edge. It appears that Scarlet did not follow the bucket back across the fence. Come here, Scarlet. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. A frog.
So if you look out here at the pond, you can see how much rain we've gotten. Now at first, this may look kind of exciting, but my expectation is that most, if not all of this water will probably disappear within the next week or so. Again, depending on how much rain we get. They just haven't been in here long enough to actually put a good seal on this pond yet. In fact, I'd say they're probably just getting started. But it is pretty cool to see water out here. It really has been a while since the pond has looked even like this. Now we gotta figure out why these pigs got out. A handy little detour. All right, let's see what kind of charge we've got. None, none at all. That's not good. Nothing here either. Well, we've got something there. So now we gotta trace it back and see if we can figure out what's going on. Oh look, another golf ball. Makes golf ball like 10,003. Not really, but I found a lot. 10,004, 10,005, 10,006, 10,007. 10,008. I think I'm gonna have to find another spot for the golf balls. Stay. So we're back in the pig pasture area trying to chase down my short on my fence and it's pretty muddy over here which I hate to be walking through this in the mud but I gotta find this short. Okay, so it's telling me we've got a short in this direction. It could possibly be the vegetation. As you see here, the energizer that I've got in there right now does not have quite the weed arrester that my regular energizer does. My regular energizer is down and can't get parts for it. So I'm gonna have to replace it. And so I'm just, I'm just using the backup right now. I was really hoping that would have shown a large fault in it, but it didn't. Usually whenever I have a fault, it's in this fence right here. You can see where I joined my neighbor, there's four strands of barbed wire. And then on this side of the posts, I've added in electric. And I did this whenever I was running goats in here and it definitely kept the goats where they were supposed to be. But every once in a while, a deer or some other animal will run through the fence and get the wires all tangled up and it'll create a short. So I was really hoping this is where it was at. So far it's not. Well, I've nearly made it all the way around and I haven't found any shorts in the fence yet. Haven't found any pants either. Well, here's this, but that's not a short. And as you can see, I'm not getting anything on my ground wires. There's no feedback. There's no feedback coming off of them, so that's a good sign. But it would seem that all the moisture from the rain has caused my problem. Uh-oh. Looks like we do have a short somewhere. I honestly didn't expect there to be a short over in here, but check it all anyway, right? Okay, so this line is saying go that way. Well, I'm not sure if that is the problem, but it is a problem. I'm sure that's really good for my fault finder. Didn't fix my problem, but made things better. Oh look, 
10,010. And that right there could definitely be the problem. Well, it helped, but it didn't fix it. Okay, this is my opposite fence. This is the south end. The one I showed you before with the barbed wire in it was the north end. I have these offsets in this south side fence uh, with two hot wires. And then the top wire, I pulled out the barbed wire and put in a high tensile electric. And this one looks good. It doesn't appear to have any problems in it. All right, so here we are, back where we started. This time, we do have power. Now granted, it's not a lot, but it's enough to remind them about what this fence is for. All right, pigs, as you were. All right, now that we've got the electric fence repaired, we're gonna turn it off. There we go. Grab a feed bucket, and go back in the field with the cows. Come on, cows. So I've got the cows up here by the house. That way I can separate a few calves out for weaning if I can get them to come where I want them to. That's always the catch. Come on, cows. Come on, babies. Hey cows! Hey cows! Yeah. So what I'm attempting to do is to get all of the cows in this little narrow strip that we have right here. This runs between the north side of the property and the south side of the property. So if I can get all the cows up in here, then I'm going to try to cut them out with this panel right here. I really need a corral and a sorting system but that's coming <laughs> Charles is obviously excited here they come and that white face heifer right there she's gonna come out too she's already weaned but we're gonna separate her out we don't want her getting bred. I'm gonna pull the electric fence back here. Hang it right there. Unhook this. All right, now whoever laid this out uh, did not take into consideration that the pig pasture was actually right here. So I'll have to have a talk with them. And oh no, here comes rain, like a bunch of it. So probably gonna have to pick this up later. So the good news is all the cows are over here where I wanted them. The bad news is it's pouring down rain. Actually, I guess that's not bad news. Um, I'll take the rain. Well, it seems the rain has set in for the night. Um, this storm system, I thought it would actually pass through based on what the radar was looking like, but it keeps building back behind it. So it looks like it's just going to keep raining, which, like I said before, I'm okay with. Um, this ended up not being the video I was planning to make. Whenever I figured out that the electric fence was not doing 
well, I guess it's electric fence thing, had to get that figured out. So once we did that, it kind of set things back a little bit. I'm gonna wait and try to move these calves, try to separate these calves out so we can get them started weaning. Um, hopefully tomorrow, if the weather permits, and I'll definitely be sure and record that so you can see how that goes. So things change. Sometimes you have to change, you have to adapt. And that's what we did today. As I said before, I am incredibly grateful to each and every one of you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing my videos. Um, obviously, I'm not one of these huge farmers. Uh, I'm only on 20 acres here. But my goal is to show everybody that you don't have to be a huge farmer. You don't have to have a bunch of land and big equipment and tons of animals in order to, to make a go at something like this. So again, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.